The health support profile is based on 18 health support criteria. Due to time constraints, we will only discuss a couple of the criteria here. Those wanting to delve more deeply into the scientific evidence are invited to go to www.nutrasearch.ca where you will find a detailed scientific explanation for each criteria. On the home page, simply click on the Show Me the Science link. Experts agree that mineral supplements can be difficult for the body to utilize. The better manufacturers bond the mineral to an amino acid or organic acid carrier. The special process known as chelation makes the minerals better absorbed. The attached organic acids are easily absorbed through the gut and the mineral molecule piggybacks along for the ride. Synthetic vitamin E possesses only half the biological activity of natural D-alpha tocopherol. Natural vitamin E is more quickly absorbed into human cells in contrast to the synthetic forms which are metabolized and excreted in the urine. In the United States, supplement manufacturers are only required to follow Food Quality Good Manufacturing Practices, or GMPs. These standards are much less stringent than pharmaceutical quality GMPs. Purchasing only products made by manufacturers who use pharmaceutical quality standards assures the buyer of three important things, potency, purity, and dissolution. Potency means that what's on the label is actually in the bottle. If it says it has a thousand milligrams of vitamin C, then you can be assured it has a thousand milligrams, as opposed to food quality manufacturing, where products often have substantially less than what's on the label. Number two, purity. Many supplements have contaminants in them, such as pesticides, herbicides, insect parts, molds, or even salmonella. Heavy metal contaminants, such as lead, are also a big concern. Page 22 of the book details a study of calcium supplements which revealed that 25% of the products tested contained more than six times the recommended limit for lead, thus placing the consumer at risk for lead toxicity. Number three, dissolution, means that the product is tested to assure that it will actually dissolve when you swallow it. Food level GMPs don't check for dissolution. However, pharmaceutical standards require a product to dissolve in under 45 minutes. The University of Maryland did a study of prenatal supplements and found that only one-third of them met USP requirements for dissolution. Page 26 discusses a study reported in the Journal of Pharmacy and Pharmaceutical Sciences. The study showed that over half the products did not disintegrate and thus failed the testing. If the pills travel through your system as a whole tablet, as shown in this x-ray, in essence in one end and out the other, it's pretty difficult for the nutrients to be used by your body. Many products display the good manufacturing practice symbol thus leading consumers to assume this means pharmaceutical quality manufacturing, when in reality there are several levels of GMP certification. For example, a product displaying the Natural Products Association GMP logo, or their formerly used NNFA logo, does not necessarily mean that the product is manufactured to pharmaceutical standards. Their GMP certification program is a food model GMP standard, which does not require adherence to the three USP items we've been discussing. NSF or USP certification ensures a manufacturing plant follows pharmaceutical GMP standards. While the NSF and USP GMP programs are the consumer's assurance that a product is manufactured to pharmaceutical model GMPs, they are not the whole story. NutraSearch considers that to truly ensure that what's on the label is in the bottle, each product should be tested by an independent laboratory. The remaining sections of the book show the final product scores. By analyzing the ingredients listed on each product's label and comparing to the recommendations of the 12 experts discussed earlier, each product was awarded 0 to 5 stars. When the results were tabulated, we see that only 6% of the products scored at the top with either 4 or 5 stars. Even more shocking is that over 3 quarters of the products earned only 2 stars, 1 star, or no stars at all. And it's interesting that most of the name brand, well-known products scored in this low range. You know, I think that's why so many doctors are skeptical about vitamins, because they've only seen the results provided by the brands that have very little in them. I agree. In fact, that's what Dr. Lewis meant when he wrote, quote, the reason many doctors are skeptical about nutritional supplements is because most products do not provide the nutrients the body requires. This well-researched book enables lay people and physicians to see what the different products contain and enables them to make an informed decision on which products to choose. Out of the more than 1,500 products evaluated, only 33 earned 5 out of 5 possible stars. This was a good start toward finding the best products, but just taking the information off the label at face value was not good enough for the author. Each manufacturer of a five-star product was invited to participate in the NutraSearch Medals of Achievement program. 
To earn a gold medal, each company was required to do two things. First, to demonstrate compliance to pharmaceutical GMPs, and second, to have their product tested by an independent third-party laboratory to prove that what's on the label is in the bottle. While few were invited, even fewer were successful. And in the end, only four companies were awarded the NutraSearch Gold Medal of Achievement, as they have met or exceeded the most stringent of manufacturing standards in the industry. In alphabetical order, the four companies are... Creating Wellness Alliance, a New Jersey company that markets the vitamins through chiropractic offices. Douglas Laboratories, a Pennsylvania company that retails their products predominantly through doctor's offices. True Star Health a Canadian company that retails their multivitamins through Canadian fitness centers. USANA Health Sciences, a Utah company that markets their products through independent distributors. From my experience with my first wife's cancer, even with a good insurance program, we spent more in four years treating her before she died than we would have spent in 20 years taking a proactive approach. That's why I've committed to a supplement program that I will stay on for life. These two senior women are nearly the same age. However, only one of them still enjoys a vibrant, active life. A healthy lifestyle and quality supplementation may not only add years to your life, but life to your years. Everyone will age, but how we age, how we look and feel, depends in large part on what we do early on in our life. When my wife died, I had people warn me that with the emotional stress I was under, I could expect to be sick a lot that first year. But thanks to being proactive and following the information in this book, my health has never been better. We encourage you to get back with the person who sent you to this movie. Let them help you get started on the road to a healthier life using the best of the best.